Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of the Screenwriting Basics series by Scriptwriting Tips. Lots of people are talking about the logline. In this episode, we will talk about what is a logline and why it is so important. Stick around, because by the end of this video you will know how to write a good logline. If you want to see more content by Scriptwriting Tips, you can visit my website. Also, don't forget to subscribe by clicking here and here. A logline is a one sentence, two tops, summary of your story. But what is the use of a logline? Why we need it? Why such a fuss about it? A logline has two different important uses. The most known use of a logline is to sell your script. It is the first thing you say when you're pitching your story. So it has to be really interesting and grab the attention immediately. It has to hook your audience as soon as they hear it. The second thing why you need a good, strong logline before you start writing your script is to help you stay focused on the strong parts of your script while you're writing it. Every time you're writing straight away, you should reread your logline and remember to keep in your script only the things that make it strong. Sometimes we like our writing so much that we forget our goal. A strong logline will help you at these moments to come back to your goal. If you create a good logline before you start writing your screenplay, you avoid losing too much time writing the wrong idea. A weak logline many times indicates also a weak script. Whereas a strong logline can be your guide, your flashlight on which things are the most important in your story. The screenwriter Michael Langsfield has come up with an easy way to remember how to prepare your pitch using the five-finger method, and I believe that this is the best method to use in order to build a strong logline. Here's the five-finger method. Every logline should consist of these five elements. The genre of the film, the main protagonist, her or his goal, the main obstacle to achieve the goal, and what's important, what is so special with that particular story. So let's start building a logline and watch how we can improve it, turning it from boring into interesting. Let's start with the main idea, which is a drama about a woman who is confronted with her past when her illegitimate daughter appears at her doorstep 20 years later. It's okay, but it's a bit boring. The conflict has to become stronger. Why is it so bad that her illegitimate daughter appears at her doorstep? Let's add some more conflict. Who is this woman? And I don't mean to use a name, no, it doesn't help unless uh, she's an actual person that everyone knows. Don't use a name, who cares if she's a Jane or a Kate? This is not useful information at this point. Instead, we need some characterization. What if she's a priest, or married to a priest, or maybe she's a counselor, or even the president? Let's replace the word woman with counselor. It's a drama about a counselor who is confronted with her past when her illegitimate daughter appears at her doorstep 20 years later. Now we need an adjective. Always add one or two adjectives, mostly something that will work against her. We really want to build conflict. She is stern, stiff. She's judgmental, she's conservative, maybe she's known for fighting fiercely against gay couples. Also, the word past doesn't say much on its own. We all have a past. We need here more conflict. Is there a hidden secret in her past? Maybe a deep dark past? Let's add these as well. It's a drama about a judgmental, conservative counselor who is fighting passionately against gay couples, and she is suddenly confronted with her deep dark past when her illegitimate daughter appears at her doorstep 20 years later. 
Now we have some juice here. We have a genre, it's a drama. The protagonist is a conservative counselor. The goal is to hide her past while she's fighting gay couples. The obstacle is the appearance of her illegitimate daughter. What's important? What makes this story special? How can we connect the fact that she's fighting against gay couples with her daughter? Hmm, let's see. It's a drama about a judgmental conservative counselor who is fighting passionately against gay couples and she is suddenly confronted with her deep dark past when her illegitimate daughter, raised by two lesbians, appears at her doorstep 20 years later. So what's important in this story? In order to be accepted by society, you need to learn about acceptance yourself. In order for her to be accepted by society, she needs to learn about acceptance herself. So that's it. It's not the best idea, but I'm sure you've got much more interesting ideas to work on. And now you know how. So that's all for now. Another episode of the Screenwriting Basics series has come to its end. Don't forget to subscribe and visit my website in scriptwritingtips.com as well as my Facebook page. Feel free to ask anything in the comment section below. Find out more about screenwriting by choosing to watch any of the videos on the screen. See you soon! This is Apollonia and Scriptwriting Tips.